Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Uh, the next video is a uh, the next in the series of in a series of videos uh, giving solutions to the final exam for Math 135 from 2008. This is question number 20, and it's about optimization. So what we have is a line passing through the point 127, and we're told it intersects the positive y-axis at uh, a point A and the positive x-axis at a point B. So we'll say that this point A is at 0, 0 comma y and the point B is at x comma 0. And then the question is find the shortest possible distance between A and B. Okay, given that it goes to the point 127. Okay, so let's write the equation of the thing we're trying to minimize. That's the, dis the distance between A and B. So the distance is the square root of, so it's, um, say, 0 minus x squared plus y minus 0 squared using the distance formula, which is the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, now this is a function of two variables. Uh, we want to deal with a function of one variable. So we need to relate x in terms of y or y in terms of x. So what we're going to use is the fact that this line has to pass through the point 1, 27. How we're going to use that? Well, we can get the slope in two different ways. We can compute it using the point A and 1, 27, or 1, 27 and the point B. So let's find the relation we get in that way. Okay, so these two slopes should be the same. We're calculating the slope of the same line. Um, we get y minus 27 divided by 0 minus 1, calculating the slope using a and 127. And that should be the same as the slope using 127 and b, which is 27 minus 0 over 1 minus x. Okay, so simplifying this, we get uh, y minus 27 over negative 1 equals 27 over 1 minus x. Okay, so I'm going to erase this picture, and we're going to solve for y. Okay, so what we get is um, 27 minus y equals 27 divided by 1 minus x. And solving for y, this gives us y equals 27 minus 27 over 1 minus x. Okay, so here we get y in terms of x, and that'll allow us to um, write the distance function just as a function of x by replacing y with this expression here. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this expression a bit. So we get y equals uh, getting a common denominator. We get 27 times 1 minus x minus 1. Um, so minus 1 over 1 minus x, which equals 27 times, uh, the 1's cancel, and we get minus x over 1 minus x, which equals 27, and then getting rid of this negative sign up here, we get x over x minus 1. Okay, so we get a simple expression for y in terms of x. All right, so uh, next we want to plug this into our distance formula. So we had the distance equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And then we're going to plug our expression for y in. So we get x squared plus 27 times 1 uh, x divided by 
x minus 1 squared. So this is all squared. OK, so that's x squared plus y, the square root of x squared plus y squared. OK, so uh, next we want to note that, we can get rid of this down here, um, since d is positive, the value of x that minimizes d is the same as the value of x that minimizes d squared. So why do we want this? Um, well, the next step is to take the derivative of, would be to take the derivative of d, uh, which involves this square root sign. And we'd rather this square root sign not be there to simplify taking the derivative. So we note that uh, the same x value that minimizes d minimizes d squared. So we can just find the x value that minimizes d squared, which is, which is simpler. Okay, so let's write down d squared. We get d squared equals x squared plus 27 times x over x minus 1 all squared, which equals x squared plus, so it's 27 squared, which is 729 times x over x minus 1, all squared. Okay, and the next step will be to take the derivative of this. Okay, so we have d squared of x, and we're going to take the derivative of that. It'll be 2x plus 2 times 729 times x over x minus 1 times the derivative of x over x minus 1. So we take the derivative of the top, which is 1, times the bottom, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, and we divide that by the bottom squared. Okay, so that's the derivative of d squared. I'm going to write this up here. Okay, so simplifying things a little bit, we get d squared of x prime equals 2x plus 2 times 729 times, okay, so what we get here, the x's cancel, and we're left with a negative 1. So we get negative x over x minus 1 cubed. Okay, and we want to find the minimum value of this function, so we set it equal to 0 so we can get the uh, critical points. Okay, so factoring, we get 2x times 1. So 2x is factored out, so it's minus 729 divided by x minus 1 cubed equals 0 which means either x equals 0 or 1 minus 729 over x minus 1 cubed equals 0. Okay, so in the second case there, let me erase what's on bottom. Simplifying this, we get x minus 1 cubed is 729, which means x minus 1 is the cubed root of 729, which is 9. Okay, so in this case, x equals 10. All right, so we have two possibilities for uh, 
minimums, uh, x equals 0. So let's take a look at our graph again. So we have x equals 0 or x equals 10. The picture looked like this. So we had a point going through 127, which is, say, here. The point A, which is up here. And the point B, which is down here. Okay, so B we called x comma 0, and y we called uh, 0 comma y. Now, if x was 9, couldn't pass through A and 0, 0. So the only possibility is that x equals 10. Okay, so again, um, why x can't be 0? Well, we saw that y was 27 times x over x minus 1. So if x were 0, this would mean y would also be 0. Okay. So in that case, the second point, b, would be at the origin, but it couldn't pass through a point on the y-axis, 1, 27, and the origin. So the case where x equals 0 is excluded. OK, so if x equals 10, y, again, is going to be 27 times x over x minus 1, which is 27 times 10 over 9. 27 over 9 is 3. So 3 times 10 is 30. So when x is 10, y is 30. And so d is the square root of x squared plus 1 squared, which is 100, plus 30 squared, which is 900, which is the square root of 1,000. And that equals the square root of 100 times the square root of 10, which is 10 root 10. And that's the answer and solution to question number 20.